But first at five, a school bus tragedy leaves a family in New Jersey with unbearable grief. And prosecutors say this never should have happened in the first place. Good to have you with us. I'm Adam Cooperstein. And I'm Gilma Avalos. Tonight, a family is mourning the loss of their six-year-old daughter who died while on the school bus in Franklin Township. Now, a school bus aide is facing charges in connection to that little girl's death. Prosecutors say that aide failed to protect the child who had special needs and was in a wheelchair when things took a turn on that ride to summer school. News Force Pat Battle is live in Somerset, New Jersey. And, and Pat, this is just unthinkable pain for this family. Adam, it is absolutely indescribable, unfathomable what this family is going through. The mom, dad, and this little girl had two sisters. We are outside the Montauk Transit bus company here on Route 27 in Somerset. This is the company that the Franklin Township School District contracts with to take students to school. And little Faja Atia Williams was on one of these buses, which is equipped with a camera, which is why when prosecutors looked at that videotape and saw what had happened, they went and arrested that aide, and she's now charged with manslaughter. <laughs> she wanted to stay strong, but emotion overtook Namja Nash Williams when she learned how her little girl lost her life in the back of a school bus. Six-year-old Faja strapped in her wheelchair, the harness growing tighter across her little body as the aide, who should have been watching her, sat up front, completely unaware that Faja was suffocating. They need to be properly trained and equipped. Obviously, she wasn't. If she's sitting on the bus with disabled kids and she's on a cell phone, on the head with headphones on the head, listening to doing whatever she was doing while my daughter back there fighting. The bus is owned by Montauk Transit here in Somerset. Prosecutors say the aide, 27 year old Amanda Davila of New Brunswick, had on ear pods and was on her cell phone for at least part of the 15 minute ride to the Claremont School in Somerset, where little Faja went four days a week to an extended summer program. She She'd only started here July 5th with a new driver and a new aide. And by the time the bus arrived, she was unresponsive. She didn't have oxygen in her brain for almost 40 minutes. Do you understand the image that we got in our head of our daughter the last time we seen her? what we had to go through. Faja was born with a rare chromosome disorder called Emmanuel syndrome, unable to speak or walk. She was the joy of her family's life. And she was the sweetest kid you'll ever meet. She had the sweetest little laugh, her little dimples. And she just endured so much throughout her little six years of being on this earth. She had multiple surgeries. She, she didn't deserve this. She did not deserve this to be taken away from us in, in such a way that had no, it had nothing to do with her condition. The bus was a small handicap equipped vehicle like this one and Faja's mother says she watched as she went into the back. She's she not verbal, so right. she doesn't make words. She makes she, sounds, she, she calls, <laughs> you know, she, and, she has the happy screams. And, and her, she makes sounds, she, she has a voice. Has, if you hear anything, you will look. So these people are not even looking, not hearing, not pinching, not turning around. This is what's bothering me. This will never, ever happen again if I have any say so. Ironically, she works for a company that provides non-emergency medical transportation for people. Her job to make sure things like this don't happen. I do like these things to make sure that this doesn't happen. And it happens to my baby. <laughs> She is just devastated. The entire family is devastated. And so are the folks here at this transit bus company. We went and knocked on the door. They couldn't comment because of the ongoing investigation, but expressed their deep sorrow at what has happened to little Faja. In the meantime, the aide, again, her name is Amanda Davila, is being held in the Somerset County Jail. She has been remanded without bail until court hearing on the 25th of this month. Her mother, the little girl's mother, says she holds that aide, the school district, and this bus company, all of them responsible for what happened to her little girl. Reporting live from Somerset, I'm Pat Battle, News 4 New York. Uh, family deserves better, Pat. Thank you.